Hi guys, uh, I want to show you a little hack when you're using Grammarly. You might have already started using it, but I know some people are still uh, using the old ways. So I just want to help you because, you know, I'm a good guy and I actually care. So the hack is about um, not uploading your documents on Grammarly. Remember the traditional way of uh, you know running your files through Grammarly is uh, uploading using this button. So of, of course, just go to Grammarly.com and you log in. So it's already logged in, you can see. So the traditional way we, we used to upload, so you go back and then of course you circle back to your Windows Explorer and select the file, blah, blah, blah. If you don't know that, I think I have another video um, on that. I haven't uploaded it yet, but if you can uh, just you know drop a comment if you want to see it. So the process of actually checking uh, grammar is the same, but now we're just trying to make things a little bit easier. And um, I know most of us are using shared Grammarly. And uh, recently, we have some ninjas. Um, these guys, because um, you could sit on these shared Grammarly. So the moment you upload your file, they just download it and sell it uh, to Cosiro and other platforms. So you can upload file you know, to the client or to class, it's already plagiarized 100%. So you can realize that these are not my documents because these are shared um, account. So if I was a bad person, I would just download this, you know, and I'll sell it. So there's a way you can work around that to avoid that from happening. So instead of uploading your files to, you know, the website, you need to download an add-in. So we are just going to search for Grammarly adding forward. Grammarly adding forward. Yep. And I'm going to just select this. Sorry. No, that's true enough. I think, yeah, here. Let's see the, this one works. Yeah. So you're going to download this adding. So it's free, of course. So just click download. And it's an application. So once you download it, so you can see it's uh, already downloading. Yeah. So once you have it ready, um, you are going to install it. So it's an application. So let's just wait for it to finish downloading. Unfortunately, I've already integrated it with my word. So and I don't want to uh, undo that. But uh, you can follow through the steps. It's not that hard. So this is the, the setup that I, I, I've just downloaded. You can see it's an application. So it's safe, you can just go ahead and of course now I just install it by just double clicking and then of course you click run. I'm not going to run because I've already installed it. So the moment you're running, make sure you've closed all uh, Office, uh, you know, uh, packages, Word, PowerPoint and all that so that it integrates well. So after installing, of course, just follow the prompt, run. I don't know if it will tell me anything. Let me just see what happens. So just follow through with the, you know, um, the process in this case, um, in an baby because it's already installed, but in your case, it take through the process, install it. Once you finish installing it, and uh, your office word was, uh, was um, you know, closed, when you open it, you will realize that uh, the small icon now comes, the grammar icon comes on the right side of your screen, so you can see it's here. So, before you install the add in, it wasn't here. But now, after I've finished the installation, it is now here. So, what you do, you just type what you want to type. Um, so, let's say I was going to, you know, let me just copy this and pretend this is what I've typed. So, once you finish typing whatever you wanted to type, um, the next step you're going to do is going to just click it. So, first of all, just finish your typing. Finish everything that you're typing and all the uh, and all that. Once you finish typing, now you activate it by just clicking, and it will start running. When you're using for the first time, when you click it, it will ask you to log in. So of course you will log in with your details, the grammar details as you have, um, uh, assuming when you know either at 50 or 200 or 500. So you just log in using those details. It when you click login, of course it will direct you to a browser. So whichever browser you have set up the default browser, it will open that up and you can just log in. After logging in, you just follow the steps, it will bring you back to Word and then you can just, you know, start checking your file. So if there was an issue with this, um, 
this uh, let me just create a problem and then we see what happens let me just first of all just arrange them so that they look more uh, so let me just you know say create a problem somewhere and say if it will notice so I've created a problem and uh, it's telling me that this is supposed to be finalized or finalized so of course it works the usual way the usual way it works when you're using the traditional uh, method so we just click on the suggestion then you come to this it's also telling you um, that you can just change that once you finish you can just now it will tell you now he's found you can just close it and you save your file and you're ready to upload to, to submit to your client that is so you don't need to actually run it through upload it on um, on the grammar because here you risk somebody stealing your file but when you're running it through here you avoid that nobody will actually steal your document so um, this hack is also important it's also useful because you get to maintain the format if you had that uh, diagrams and you if you uh, had some uh, things that you didn't want mess the, the, the file the uploading method to, to mess it up you get to avoid that as well and um, you know when you're using let's say Chicago style that you are when you're using the footnotes and uh, end notes you also get to maintain that format so it's a good way to actually uh, run grammar checks as opposed to actually uploading it uh, tentatively you can also integrate uh, grammarly with your browser so whichever browser you're using um, i'm sure you may notice this small icon here for grammarly this is because i've added it as an extension to my browser so whenever i'm typing anything even if i'm typing uh, an email or i'm you know doing something on my google documents uh, it allows me to actually uh, check uh, the grammar of uh, whatever i'm typing using my browser yeah i want to just create a problem let me just create a problem somewhere so that we see how it works so you can see it's already telling me that there's a problem with this uh, file so i'm just gonna click here and it will actually give me the suggestions uh, that i can you know implement and uh, then when i'm done i can just close it and i'm good to go with my file so when you, you integrate it with your machine with, with your browser rather you can actually get to check everything you're typing on your browser including emails you know social media posts that you're posting with your browser uh yeah you you also get to check grammar and it, it generally just improves your communication across everything that you're typing so i hope you must idea remember do not upload files to a shared Grammarly. Always uh, use the extension, the add-in for Word option. Or if you like, you can also type your document uh, in, a, in, a, in a Google document file. Check it uh, after you know downloading the extension. Uh, did I show you guys how to download this extension? You can just uh, go Google um, Grammarly for what? Grammarly for Chrome. For Chrome. Uh, yeah, let me select this and then you can just click add to chrome and it will add that as an extension to a wherever browser you are using for now i'm using uh, microsoft edge so in your case you just have to click add to whatever browser you are using and it will come as an extension and then you can just go to your extensions and uh, make it uh, active you know just activate it if uh, you know if your browser doesn't activate it by default so hope you must idea um if you like my video share you know subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed uh help me get as many people on the platform as possible because that's how we will all grow